Well, good morning, everybody. It's like 5.30 in the morning here in Ottawa, and I'm not flying out today. Why am I getting up so early? I am uh, on my way out to a company called Le Boat that operates a small rental fleet of private yachts here in uh, near Ottawa, just outside of Ottawa, about an hour, an hour and a half drive. And uh, they've invited us out to take a look at some of their product uh, and uh, show us what they're all about. And I'm kind of interested about this because apparently they have ships all over the place. You can sail in France, you can sail in Germany, you can sail all over the place in Europe. And uh, now they've opened up here in Canada. So I'm going to go and take a look at it and I'm going to show you guys while I'm doing it. All right, let's start the car and head out. So I hope you guys can hear me. Today is actually the opening day here on the Radio Canal for the locks. It's the start of the season. It usually coincides with the long weekend. And as you can see behind me, there's all the Le Boats that they rent here. And we're about to go on a tour and take a look. We just saw a little bit about the Rideau Canal and Colonel Bai who was instigating, uh, who built all this and the reasons behind it. And it's now a UNESCO World Heritage site the first one in Ontario Canada so they're kind of proud of that right now and even the swans are out See? to take a look so let's go and check out the boats say you think about me because I'm starting to we will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world I'm here and I'm waiting but I know I can't say that we didn't end it for good reason still I'm hoping we'll be meeting soon too bad we have such a bad gray day out today but the buildings out here in Smith Falls we got some very old heritage buildings out here, which are fantastic out here near the locks. Can't wait to get out in the water. Right now we're going to the Rideau Canal National Historic Site at the Visitor Center. Learn a little bit about the locks.
Well, today might not be the best day for it, but I can see myself sitting up here on this boat, taking a look out, relaxing down a waterway. I could actually see that. And if you take a look behind me, there's tons of seating right here. Every boat comes with upper and lower steering, so you can steal from below if it's raining, or you can come up here and enjoy some of the weather with all your friends, and there's a hot plate up here. So I'm getting some ideas, guys. Let me percolate. Let me percolate the ideas. Some of these cabins are definitely tight. Um, if you're six foot four, you'd probably have a lot harder time than I would sleeping in one of these. But um, they're quite really nice design. They're quite nice inside. And every single stateroom from the, the twin bed ones to the single beds uh, all have a bathroom in them. So you don't have to worry about other people using bath you everybody gets their own bathroom they have their own heat control their own lighting um, and yeah the ships are quite nicely designed lots of deck space up top beautiful sitting area and it kind of would be really great for like a group of four to six people on this size boat I think would would really fit pretty well so for those of you wondering if you can get around the sides of them I have a backpack on and I can walk along the sides of the cabin. Whoop. <laughs> of course, if I would look at where I'm going, it would go a lot easier. Again, we have lots of places to lie down, the big cabin area up in the back, and probably my seat, when I'm not driving, would be just right up here and taking a look at the picturesque sites like, like beautiful Smith Falls here with a nice, beautiful parkland settings. Yeah, the sun's trying to come out. Oh my God. Say you think about me because I'm starting to doubt we will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world. I'm here and I'm waiting, but I know I can't say that We didn't end it for good reason, still I'm hoping we'll be meeting soon Everybody needs some time That's actually thrusters on this boat, so much like the big cruise ships These have thrusters in the front that can go, make you go left to right, port to starboard So it's a lot easier to control and pull into the docks as you're going. And as far as the motor is concerned, it's, it's pretty darn quiet. So it's only when you're slowing down. Right now we're slowing down because we're heading into the docks. So we'll see what happens as we go. And here comes Terry up here. He's got to man the ropes. <laughs> I don't have to do it. We have our dock is open, but the bridge is a little low for us right now.
see through here, it's a little bit narrow where we're going, but you can hear the birds chirping. It's not a great sunny day out. It's rather chilly on the water right now, but can you imagine here in June, July, August, when the sun's shining, 90 degrees, sailing down here, all peaceful and quiet, just relaxing with a drink in hand and something on the Barbie. sponsored by people who used to boat here. This is a nice little quaint spot. They have music every once in a while inside. There's a corner store here. You can re resupply the ship, uh, your boat, and uh, pick up. Uh, and now in Canada, you can buy beer and that at the local corner store, which you couldn't uh, about three months ago. So that's a good thing. And you look at all the chairs set up. All along here, their own little docks, just to sit out and relax and enjoy the waterway with your fellow boaters. It's uh, quite a nice little location. A perfect little first stop, if you will, when you head out. I, I really wish I could be spending more time to show you guys what this is. And uh, I, I may talk to some people about doing just that. Because I think, I think I would enjoy spending a a week on one of these boats, or maybe two. What the heck, maybe three. <laughs> in Ottawa and it is only May <laughs> but uh, I'm thinking I might try this out this summer and let you guys uh, take a peek of what it would be to have your own personal little miniature cruise ship if you will so we'll see how it goes 